Hi, I'm Erin Worley and I channel God. So you're wondering why in the world you're awake at 3 a.m. in the morning. What is going on and what is the spiritual significance? Most likely you have gone through a spiritual awakening. You are aware that there is more going on with our physical world than meets the eye. And the truth is you're awake at 3 a.m. Not because you're doing something wrong. Not because your body isn't healthy enough. But in fact, it's because you have a message. Someone is sending you a message. And your only job at 3 a.m. is to ask for the message, is to allow the message to come to you. Now, the reason you're waking up at 3 a.m. with a message instead of receiving a message at 11 a.m. or 3 in the afternoon or right before bed is because while you're asleep, you are completely relaxed. Your mind is shut off and you are connected to the non-physical world. When we sleep, our minds and our physical bodies connect to the non-physical world and it receives the healing that it wasn't able to receive during the day because you were in your autonomic nervous system, you were in fight or flight mode for most of the day. This is the reason that meditation is so beneficial to people because it puts them into the relaxed state, the parasympathetic nervous system so that their body can begin doing the healing that is automatic, normal, and natural for your body to do and for your mind to do. So most of us spend most of our day, though, in that fight or flight. <gasps> I have a lot to do. I'm nervous. I'm not doing enough. I don't feel good enough. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. And when we're doing that, there's no space for a message to come through. Messages come through when we are in a relaxed state. When our whole body is clenched, when all of our muscles are clenched, when our mind is clenched with fear and worry, that message can't ease on down through the crown of your head into your mind. There's simply no space. So sleep relaxes us deeply, puts us into this beautiful state where messages can be received. And in fact, you're receiving messages all the time in your sleep. They're called dreams. I bet that you've had at least a dream or two in your life that you can still remember. It's a message. They're always messages. And dreams are simply connections to things that exist somewhere in universal mind, the quantum field, the non-physical realm. Okay. And that's, that's another video maybe I'll do in the future about dreams. But right now we're talking about why you're awake at 3 a.m. It's one of two reasons. Either someone is sending you a message and they want you to listen or feel it in your body or see it with your third eye, or so they want your attention and they want you saying, what's the message? Or you just had a dream that was the message and you're being asked to write it down. Either way, this is what you do. What you do is the same, no matter which of the two things is happening for you. And through doing it, you'll figure out which of the two things is happening for you. So I want you to get out a notebook and a pen. And I know, because I've been here so many times, I know that you don't want to get out a notebook and a pen at 3 a.m. I know what you want to do is go back to sleep. And I know that you have things to do in the morning. And so if you don't go back to sleep, if you turn on the light and take out your notebook and a pen, you're never going to go back to sleep, right? Actually, it's the opposite, which is kind of cool. How it works is if you're awoken with a message and you don't take the proper action on it, you won't fall asleep until either you take the proper action or you're up until 7 a.m. and then it's time to go to work. 
But the cool thing is when you take the proper action that I'm about to share with you, you go to sleep immediately. Like magic. Like everything is unfolding divinely for your highest good. That this isn't happening. You weren't woken up at 3 a.m. as a punishment or because you're doing something wrong. You're being woken up. At 3 a.m. because you were chosen with a spe- for you were chosen to receive this special message. That's why. That's the truth. The more you can get behind that, the more magic and special special messages will start flowing through you. So you get out your notebook and your pen. If you remember having a dream, you start writing down anything that you remember. That's your action. If you don't remember having a dream. So if you remember having the dream and you're writing down your action, write it down. Get it all out. Everything that you can remember. And most likely as you start writing things, more things you had already forgotten will start tumbling down. Okay. After you've written down, tumbling down into your awareness. So after you've written everything down, I want you to go ahead and, um, Ask yourself because the universe, the truth, the answers are inside of you. Ask yourself, is there any other message that wants to come through as part of this? And just sit quietly with yourself for a minute. You can even write that question down. Is there any other message that wants to come through as part of this? And You can even do an automatic writing technique where you start writing the message even before you've received it and you start writing the message is and see if anything tumbles down into your awareness and it might or it might not, but this is why you are awoken. Now, after you put your notebook down, you should be able to go to sleep right away. If you can't, that means there is more message to receive. Take a few deep breaths. Close your eyes, feel into your body, look with your third eye, what wants to come through for you. Most likely, the message is actually going to be something that tumbles into your mind and you think it's just a thought you should push away that's totally not related. Believe me, it's related. There are no accidents. All the thoughts that are tumbling into our mind are not accidents. They're being divinely put there. You are always divinely guided even when it's something you don't want to think about. Maybe it's time to release it. Maybe that's why you're thinking about it. You're being asked to recognize, ooh, this doesn't feel good. You don't like thinking about it. So how can we release this from our experience? So that's the first thing. If the second thing, if you don't remember having a dream when you first wake up, what I want you to do is get that notebook and pen out. And I want you to ask the same question. What's the message that I'm here to receive and start writing the message is, okay? Now you might start flowing right away, or you might need to close your eyes, feel into your body, look with your third eye, feel into what's going on, okay? Now, again, if you put down the notebook and when you're done and you're able to go right to sleep, perfect. You receive the full message. Sometimes that's how it goes for me. Other times, um, I will put down the notebook because I've just simply had enough message writing. You know, I've been going for a half hour and I'm like, I have to get up. I, I have to go to sleep now. I'll put it down. And if the message is not complete yet, I will not fall asleep. So that's your indication. Now you might feel like I'm not any good at this. Listen, nobody's any good at anything until they practice. It took me about 30 days to teach myself to channel. And I wasn't any good until I was. The first 30 days, I was channeling zero. Until one day, I was channeling God, source, the universe. And getting answers that blew my mind. So you're being led on the next step of your spiritual journey of your journey within into your deepest truth. So get out that notebook, get out the pen and do your best. 
And every single time you're asked to wake up at 3 a.m., trust it's because you've been chosen to receive beautiful messages. I love you. I'm so proud of you. And I wish you beautiful sleep, but also the beautiful receptivity of the messages. Oh, you know, before I go, I'd like to point out that it wasn't too long ago, I was receiving so many messages in the middle of the night. I said, this is too much. I don't want to receive them at night. I'm a creator. I can just decide I don't receive messages at night. And so I said, I'm not receiving messages at night anymore. And you know what happened? I stopped receiving messages during the day too, because I wanted to dictate how the universe should flow through me. And I recognized very quickly, well, this doesn't feel good. I'd much rather receive the messages at night than not receive any messages at all. And so I had to lean further into my trust in the universe flowing through me, the trust, my trust in the universe supporting me and being there for me and everything unfolding divinely. And that is an opportunity you have by being woken up at 3 a.m. It's truly um, a huge indication that your next level gifts are dropping in. And that is awesome. Sending you a ton of love. And if you have not already hit the subscribe button, please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my daily videos.